this is the interesting part is, yes, it is a tradition or a methodology that asks for six days a week. However, that's not always realistic for, for everybody, especially in the beginning stages when someone's learning the postures, building up their stamina, maybe haven't been so active in their life prior to learning the practice. So it probably is smart that, that these types of individuals build up the practice slowly over time. With that being said, I always say a little bit of yoga is better than no yoga at all. And I've had many students fall off the wagon and get back on. And so it is a long-term path and sometimes we will falter on that path. So the six day a week guideline is something to aspire to potentially if you feel called to dedicate to something like that. It seems like a very tall order. Um, I've had some students, when I first told them about six days a week, they looked at me a little bit cross-eyed, but, but believe it or not, many students have adopted it over time. However, I'm still happy with students just being consistent, whether that's three times a week, four times a week, or five times a week. With that said, every other week we take a day off for the full and new moon. Also for women, it is recommended to take off in the beginning days of menstruation. So it's not always like hard line six days a week always. So, um, but again, what you put into something, you will ultimately get out of it. So for me, it, it wasn't such a hard thing to do the six days a week. And I don't say that as a badge of honor, but again, no matter what, no matter how much you practice, it will always give you value and no effort is ever wasted.